What is up everybody? Mattress Six Seth Murphy and we are here at 1425 Maple Street. This is on the south side of Lake Oswego near New Seasons, George Rogers Park, Hallinan Grade School. Great location and in a neighborhood that we frankly just don't cover that often because there aren't that many homes that become available for sale here. But today we have the pleasure of touring a brand new construction by Monogram Custom Homes. Thanks to Harris Wolfgang and his team at Premier Property Group for allowing us to take this tour. Yeah, this property behind us is priced at just over $2.2 million. It is four bed, three and a half bath, and just over $3,600. You guys gotta come in here and see a very light and bright, open and breathy floor plan. In case you guys were wondering, 3,600 square feet. Square dollars? <laughs> just dollars? Guys, I've been camping all weekend, I'm so sorry. But as we walk up to this house, you have this beautiful paver driveway that gives you a lot of room for a lot of cars because you're gonna wanna entertain in this house. Yeah, stepping up to the house, I love the color combination with the darker chocolate brown. This is all cedar shake siding, high quality materials, very expensive. And then you have real brick masonry. It's been painted white to match the trim, giving it that more cottage Lake Oswego classic look. Stepping inside, immediately off to your right, you have this incredible living room. You got this linear gas fireplace, beautiful tile surround. You got white oak hardwood floors all throughout the home. And you step right over here to your dining room, bay of windows over here, just dumping in plenty of natural light, amazing space. And I honestly feel like this whole first floor is perfect for entertaining, as I said, but it's spaced out very perfectly. Seems like everything has its own room. And then right over here, we find Matt Thursick in the kitchen where he loves to be. Absolutely. And as I spend more time in this kitchen and house, it reminds me a lot of a home that Monogram built a couple years back. That one too was designed by Rick White, the architect. This one feels a little bit bigger, but very compact. It has everything you need uh, in here. Great entertaining space. And I really like what they did with the dual islands. Uh, great layout for entertaining. Tons of additional storage you gain by doing that. Plus, of course, you've got the Sub-Zero and Wolf range right here. They hid the microwave down below along with the dishwasher for a really nice, clean look that matches this gray cabinetry and quartz counters perfectly. And quickly rounding out the first floor, over here you have access to your exterior patio. Down there is your garage. You have this nice little entryway, bench, sit-down storage all around with the built-ins. Over in this corner, you have another dining area that is a little separated, a little more private and intimate. Fun built-ins over there with the wood siding and beautiful light fixture. All right, and stepping upstairs, speaking of that wood accent, you actually, Sam, turn around, have it matching up here on a beautiful little built-in on the loft area. I really like how open it feels like when you get to the top of the staircase. You do have your primary on the opposite side, which we'll get to, but we are currently backing into what would be one of the four bedrooms or perhaps more of a game area and bonus room, uh, just based on the layout here. I will point out you have great natural light and even peekaboo views of the lake behind us. And then making our way to the opposite side, you do pass another one of the kids' bedrooms, the laundry room, and a shared bath up here. I love how they continued those wood floors all across the landing and then transitions really nicely to the nice plush carpet. Here in the primary suite, where you have a walk-in closet, beautiful coffered ceilings right here. Again, plenty of room in here, really nice proportions. And then of course, you've got a barn door entering into your spa-like primary bath. <laughs> <laughs> Coming into your primary bathroom, I was just hanging out in this really, really grand primary shower. Beautiful tile work and a tile bench in there, just so you can take a little breather. You got your freestanding tub, plenty of natural light coming in. You still get some of those peekaboo views to Lake Oswego. And then coming over here, you got your dual vanity, quartz countertops, plenty of storage if you ask me. And then here's your toilet shut off. That also gives you the view of the lake. Just, you know, we don't, okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, and then stepping downstairs, this is where you have the rest of that 3,600 square feet. Beautiful wide open space, perfect for entertaining. They've got the bar with built-in beverage refrigerator, little built-in over there on the side, and then a nice little alcove with large format tile, linear gas fireplace, and that white stained oak continued here to the mantle. Also rounding out this floor, you do have one of the bedrooms down here right there. You have a full bathroom tucked away right here with a really fun LED surround 
round mirror. All right, and then wrapping up this tour in the backyard, we're coming out onto a flat space. It's actually a little bit sunk in here. They've got a beautiful retaining wall, which matches the front pavers, turf, and these raised planter beds for easy, accessible gardening. Gotta love that. But Seth, this has gotta be one of my favorite homes that is new construction below 2.5 right now, which is becoming more and more of a rarity here in Lake Oswego. Absolutely, and you guys heard us say it over and over again throughout this tour, but this really is the perfect home for entertaining, just the way that each space bleeds perfectly into the next, plus lake easements, we could throw such a fun party here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment what you wanna see from us, subscribe because it helps us out a lot and it helps us show you guys more cool homes just like this. And if nothing else, we'll see you next Tuesday.